Jesus is the light of the world. But before he came, this was our condition. I have some passages here from Isaiah that Brother Gene picked out. I want to share with you. In the 59th chapter, he says, Therefore, justice is far from us, nor does righteousness overtake us. We look for light, but there is darkness. For brightness, but we walk in blackness. We grope for the wall like the blind, and we grope as if we had no eyes. We stumble at noonday as at twilight. We are as dead men in desolate places. We all growl like bears and moan sadly like doves. We look for justice, but there is none. For salvation, but it is far from us. For our transgressions are multiplied before you, and our sins testify against us. For our transgressions are with us, and as for our iniquities, we know them. It was a sad and hopeless state that we were in before the light came, always in our sin and lost, and we couldn't do anything about it ourselves. But all that was about to change in God's plan. Isaiah 9, 2 says, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelled in the land of the shadow of death, upon them a light has shined. The Lord was going to do a new thing through his son, through Jesus. I will bring the blind by a way. I'm sorry. Excuse me. I got left one out. I, the Lord, have called you in righteousness and will hold your hand. I will keep you and give you as a covenant to the people, as a light to the Gentiles, to open blind eyes, to bring out prisoners from the prison, those who sit in darkness from the prison house. I will bring the blind by a way they did not know. I will lead them in paths they have not known. I will make darkness light before them and crooked places straight. These things I will do for them and not forsake them. Well, this was what he was sent to do. And he does. He changes things totally for those he leads out of darkness into his marvelous light. Yeah. It is totally uh, extreme opposites of change from, light, from darkness to light. He brings healing also. Then your light shall break forth like the morning, and your healing shall spring forth speedily. And your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your, your rear guard. <clears throat> he is our light, our salvation. No one else is like him. And the brightness of God's glory is in him. And I want to close this with this verse. The sun shall no longer be your light by day, nor for brightness shall the moon give light to you. But the Lord will be to you an everlasting light, and your God, and your, God your glory. Your sun shall no longer go down nor shall your moon withdraw itself. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, and the days of your morning shall be ended. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and deep darkness the people. But the Lord will arise over you, and his glory will be seen upon you. The Gentiles shall come to your light, and the kings to the brightness of your rising. Amen.